Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back. Okay, long dark. So, I sat here, I uh, got some wolf meat, sat here, burned through the days and nights until both pelts were ready, and I crafted some deerskin boots. So they're a little heavier, but they're 7% less slowing me down okay now i'm taking a risk and i'm gonna leave my my ballistic vest here and both my pairs of boots <laughs> we're gonna move on so anything you see over here i'm leaving right yeah oh yeah oh leaving the simple tools all right, let's get out of here. Here's what we're gonna do. Look, I came into this, ooh, our main our main objective is to find some new, new guns, right? Raven said that the noise I hear is the expanding and contracting of the fences. And she also showed there are some crazy Aurora bears out. We're leaving this stuff here. All right, this is all the uh, stuff for the bench. So we're leaving that here. We're taking off. We can come back here. I'm thinking, I'm guessing that this is going to be straightforward. Uh, allegedly, where did I say it was? It was somewhere. Okay, here's the foreman's clearing. Here's the, the lake house. It's somewhere between these two up here is an exit to go to Timberwolf Mountain. And then from Timberwolf, we can go to, well, we're gonna, we're gonna check out, we're gonna check out the Timberwolf. But uh, I believe one of the places for the curator's rifle is supposed to be in Ash Canyon. And there's two entrances to Ash Canyon from Timberwolf, so. Yeah. What do you think of that? Whew. Okay, I got to be careful because <clears throat> I didn't bring the ballistics vest. Listen, listen, you guys. I thought about it. I'm like, you know, I've never used one, A. B, it probably won't prevent me from getting killed. You know, it's 13 pounds. Now, I might... I, I don't know where we come in. I would imagine we come in... I don't know, maybe partway up the mountain. But I'll probably have to go to the bottom of the mountain to get a uh, mountaineering rope. I would imagine. I'm just... I'm checking... I'm checking for moose as we go. Okay? I am checking for yield moose. So if I wasn't clear, we're leaving the Black Rock region for Timberwolf Mountain. Okay? Now, I think from the looks on the map, it's fairly close to if I need to come back in here, get back into any of my stuff in there, make more bullets, whatever, we can. Because I don't think it's that far. You're going to see right now. We know there's a shortcut right up here, but I know I encountered timber wolves through here. And one of them bit, bit me, and there they are. I need to take a left up by that truck up there. Looks like there's only one left out of, out of this pack. Now, if he aggros, I'm going to have to fight him. Man, I hit him. I hit him hard enough to, to run him off. Usually, it, maybe, see, it might be a good idea for you to hit them first, right? Hit them first before they go aggro on you. Because when they go aggro and you get that bar at the bottom of the screen, it's on. They're coming for you, right? Especially in pack form. 
maybe run him off first. I don't know. That guy could be trying to loop around behind me. I don't know. But I got my moose, uh, my moose, 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 my deer boots on. So that's a plus. I was going to hold that coffee for later. I must have already drank that soda. Yeah, I'm a little light on food. I'm a little light on food. I It took... Um, well, it takes... T once you get... Once you get the hides to... Um, to be ready, it takes 25 hours just to make the boots, right? 25 hours. So... All right, Cook's Farm. Not to be confu confused with Boone's Farm. All right, 25 hours to make the boots... At least that's what it said. I think with my, maybe with my crafting skill or something, it only ended up taking 12 hours. But I was able to craft through the night too. So I just, I just got some wolf meat, you know, so I had something to eat. Obviously I had plenty to drink. I, I ended up making like, I think two gallons of water, you know, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And I just waited out the days till the, the hides were done. And waited the nights out or slept through the nights once it was ready went over there made the boots and now here we are we're getting a move on said so the, the these boots are actually one they're like four and a half pounds it's one pound heavier but it's minus five on the running where it was minus 12 with the other ones all right now it's somewhere in here i think um Actually, if I stay on the road, there's, there's supposed to be like a car and then a path that loops back. Whenever they show a path on these maps, there's not really a well-defined path. Okay, so there's the car on the road. There looks like a climbable thingy right there. Let's see. Yeah, it might be here. You know, I forgot to look at at that Cook's Farm. That's an actual, uh, that's a moose spawn as well. I didn't look. I did not look. So we're looking for a transition from Black Rock region to, that kind of looks like Timberwolf Mountain over there. It kind of looks like it. See if I can get my, if this is the way, it'll be good. Uh, and then I got to get my bearings, right? I got to figure out like where I'm at in that region. Uh, that region helps to get your bearings by um, finding down aircraft parts. Okay, so it goes, it shows the mountain is, or the cave is then up past the, uh, Past the car. There's a deer carcass here. Looks like a cave up there. I think we found it. Is this the cave or? Two cave system. Um, I'm going to say this is it. It looks like one of those ra oh, you know. At first, it looked like one of those regular caves, like the old. I, there could be a bear in here, cave black rock. Okay. I guess if you find bones inside the cave, then you know it's a bear cave. There could be a bear on its way home. But you guys said you can use the. You can use a flare to light a torch. It wasn't like... I thought it was... I thought there was something to do with the fire. Maybe that was another game. Like, if you had a torch, you could light your fire. And it was like, you know, made it easier. I know that one game that I played recently that was one of those alpha demos was like that. If I had a torch, I could light the fire without having to go through the, you know, the arduous process of setting up all the stuff so we're getting gaining elevation 
transition. Transitional elevation. Ooh. A ravaged wolf carcass. <laughs> now, if this is the right one, this is new. I mean, it's new-er since the Black Rock came out. And I've never been through here. It's funny, when Timberwolf Mountain first came in, it was like... It was like uh, one way in, one way out. Now there's... Now I think there's like... Um, what is it? There's Black Rock. Okay, Black Rock Mountain. Obviously, that's where we're at. Pleasant Valley. Two two different ways into Ash Canyon, I, I believe. I think. Maybe. There's a bear in here. They couldn't squeeze through that, right? Oh, weird. Look at that. It's a... It's a climb up there. I, mean, I never had... I don't think I've had a climb inside a cave before. I just want to see what this is. Pork and beans! Um, you know, I'm going to just grab some firewood since I've actually got some space. So that that's a little, yeah, okay, that's this other way here. You don't have to crouch through that area. I saw this when I was going forward. I figured it was just a nothing, just another way through. All right, now we got to climb. We got a couple of flares. I I think in uh yeah, I remember in winter mute in story mode, you climb inside a cave and I, it always annoyed me that it put the torch away, right? I remember like this cave isn't dark here. There's some ones that are pitch black and then it puts you see how it puts your tor your source away temporarily but it's still annoying you're like dude i can't see anything that's story mode for you i don't mind if i have to go to the bottom to the setup at the uh at the shack down there the only i i just don't know where we're gonna drop in you know so it should be interesting it's this is a long way through apparently. And a lot of elevation. We're going up up up. Which tells me maybe I don't know we're going to be on the back side of it, on the side. Definitely not going to be equal with the lake where you come in from from Pleasant Valley, that's for certain. Um Um, you tell me you need dynamite or something to get through this place. Did you, did you see any where else to go? This way? Dang, dude, I thought it just dead ended on me. I was freaking out. This is almost a full torch, torch burn to get through this place. Crazy. This is a long, long cave. It's called a transition. Did I? Did I double? Um, did I double back? Look, th there's the two torches down, the two flares down there. There's that way and that crawly way. Dude, did I, did I go in circles? What 
What the deuce? I don't think I went in circles. Dude, I don't think I went in circles. I think that... I think I gotta climb down. Oh my god. I'm lost in a cave. My torch is going out. What did I do? What do I do? The layout of this looks exactly the same as the way I climbed up. And there's even two flares at the bottom. I did double back. There's the crawly way. I did double back. What the deuce? Um, I want to make sure that campfire's back here. Yep. I definitely doubled back. Okay. Wow. I am confused. I mean, they couldn't have made it, like, so perfect like that, right? Oh, I didn't make it up there. <laughs> Alright, well, I can't throw it all the way up there. How did I get turned around? I went to a dead end, right? And then I had to come back and then branch off another way and didn't pay attention. And apparently it looped me right back around to here. All right, let's try that again. But there's not something out here that I'm supposed to do, is there? Like climb, climb even more? No. All right, stuck on you. Nowhere there. We're going the only way we can go right now. No way that way. We gotta go back this way. Okay. This way. Oh, maybe that this is it. Oh, yeah. I must have come down from that way and just missed this area completely. Woo! Fear not, friends. I have exercised the demons. I am here. We're traveling. All right, we should be in Timberwolf Mountain region. Timberwolf Mountain. Nice. Let's go ahead and, and announce our present with, presence with authority. Boom. Okay, that didn't help very much. That... Uh, that looks like the mountain right there. Okay, if I'm on the side I think I am, then this could be a bear area, like right off the bat. They could have put me into a bear region. I know there's... Looks like... Looks like I need to go up there. I'm trying to see if I can Oh Okay, there's one of the engines. So that if that's an engine, this should be the mount that means the airplane should be possibly up there, which means I need to that looks like a climbing thing there. 
Let's see if we can go mark it. Is there a climby way up and around? Because there's no rope hanging here. I don't see any climbing bushes over there. I don't remember how to get... Like, you originally got to go up. It's, it's a challenge getting up. But then once you lay... I think if you can lay two ropes, then... Going up, going back and forth is a lot easier. A lot easier. So, we'll see. If this marks anything up there. Yeah, there's a climbing point right there. It's up there. I don't think there's any other way. So we must have to go. There's caves that you can go through. And they kind of like. Send you back and forth. We need to go. Let's see. I think I should just maybe make my way to the bottom. If I can. Hacksaw. Oh, there's usually hacksaw in the plane, but I got to make it to the top. The good thing is that this would be the return trip area. I think this is the area where I'm at right now where you need to lay the two ropes. I think this is the area. I think it's there. And down here past the engine are the two rope laying areas that you need. Otherwise, I need to go that way to get down. And once you lay these two ropes here, you, you just make it... Because there's some ropes that are laid for you, right? Some are laid for you. And when you go that way, that's the bear area, the bear den. Is that an engine or the... F oh, yeah, it is. It looked um, almost like the f cockpit for a second. Part of the fuselage. Engine discovered. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, there it is right there. Rope, rope. And then I think there's two more up there, but they might already be laid. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah, th there's no rope here. There's short little, short little shots. Hmm, okay. So that means, yeah, I think I have to go around out, back out that way. I, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at. Like, if that's the mountain, the cabin should be down there. Looking up this way is my normal view from the cabin. We gotta, just got to be careful. There's a... Uh, there's like three bear spawners between me and the cabin and uh, timber wolves everywhere. And hopefully not aurora wolves or aurora bears. Those are something. They're a thing. So probably not a good idea to be like out and about on a night. You know, like I was out, but I was at the prison, right? There may have been a, an Aurora wolf out there going nuts. Apparently the only way to scare them off is with a flashlight. With a flashlight. All right, I am not 100% sure where I'm at. Oh, there's a rope right there. All right. At the bottom of this rope? is a bear spawn. Right down below. I think the bear's cave is off to the side over there. 
I think, the, yeah, the bear, the bear's cave is like literally right here. All right, I'm actually kind of, let's do this, kind of parched. <laughs> All this mountain climbing, man. You will take this. A little coffee. Get a little coffee up in me. And some of this. Oh yeah, feeling good. Fatigue reduced. In case I need to run away from the bear. I have a bad feeling right here, you guys. This is bad. I'm dropping into a like a canyon that is a bear that has a bear den here. Bear spawn. I'm pretty sure it's right over there. Hopefully I'm not like backing into it. Pretty sure it's right there. Could be down a little farther. Oh, there's the bear. Okay, there's the bear, and we need to, uh, let's see, I need to follow this river down. This river, this should take me down to the lake where the house is at. Bear, oh, so malo. Um, so his, there's the rope, there's the frozen waterfall, so his, his place is going to be right back in here somewhere, is his little, his little area of expertise. Can't really see it from here, but I know it's right back there, there's a cave right in there somewhere. See what he's gonna do. Look, uh, if I don't have to go ham bone on him, wouldn't be a bad idea. I wasn't able to make that many bullets. I mean, yeah, I'm up to 55, but only what I had in the way of casings. Yeah, there's the mountain. I don't know if we can, if we can get around this guy. I could just see the lake up here. We got a little ways to go, obviously. Should have been marking more. That's well, not too bad. What I'm afraid is I'm gonna get pinched between some timber wolves and the bear. I know there's a lot of wolves on the lake. Oh, I've lost sight of him. That's not good. Oh! Oh! He's right there! He... Do you see him? He's stretching. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, tell this isn't going anywhere. Oh my god, dude. Alright, screw this bear. Oh! What? What? Headshot. Dude. That's right. Hope that wasn't like a cub and then the mama bear is like, did you just shoot Leroy? Oh boy. That was a good shot. All right, so... Somebody said, if you just do the hide, if you quarter it, instead of doing this, that, the other thing, if you quarter it, it takes the hide already. There it is, yeah. I gotcha. Oh, look at the feetsies. I guess we can, we'll take some gut 
drop it off at the house. Know, just in case we want to make something, you know? How much is this? 20 pounds? I'll take one with me. Alright, we gotta find... I hope that was the bear. Yeah, he was walking through there. I think we gotta take this down to the lake. Then we go across the lake. It was a good shot, right? It was a good shot. It's almost nighttime. It was a good shot. I aim for the eyeball. You know, he kind of put me in a position where I only had one option. That was to shoot first and ask questions later. Some little light on food. That's why I took some bear. There's the lake. Nice. And probably won't be able to survey, huh? Too dark. Oh. Okay. We could survey. Survey says I'm pretty heavy. I'm getting exhausted. But my cabin should be up here that I like so much. Like me some lake cabin, man. A little ice fishing hole. Just lake teaches you not to be an ice hole. See, it's right there. You can fish in it. <laughs> ah, never gets old. Yeah, Crystal Lake. Maybe there's the cabin. And is that a bear at the cabin? No. That's a, that's a tree stump, right? Right there. I thought I saw it moving. It's a stump. There's another bear spawner right over there and over there. I think the exit to Ash Canyon, there's one, like, say, this way and one over there. Two along that side of the map. I think. Surveying local area. Hey, you're in the middle of a lake. Ooh, that was a good survey. Yeah, we got a little ice thingy. We got plenty of deer over there. Probably some tools in the boats on the dock or on the dock. I think up on that ridge right in front of us, there's more of those uh, like cargo containers that fell out of the plane. I, I don't have any more cloth. I repaired my sleeping bag before I left. It was down to 70 or something. But I did bring it. Get me inside this place. Yes, I like this place. So yeah, you get a workbench in here, right? A couple of beds. You got a book to read here for fishing got a couple of messages you get a fireplace and some wood bed and then you got the hatch here not very much down there but I will put that uh, that sweater down there where did it go there it goes scrolled message Corpse with computer found these coordinates. Can't be a local. What? The Chasm Cave. Where is that at? I'm here. So, Chasm Cave. That is... Okay, I know that there's a... Echo Peak East. There's a bear spawner here. <laughs> Pero. Pero. So that's Ash Canyon there. And then there's, you know, like where we came in to here, straight across the mountain, here is an Ash Canyon exit. And then down here about, oh, just south of this, 
is another Ash Canyon exit. So there's two two Ash Canyon exits over there. Nice. Oh, there's a hacksaw right there and a firearm cleaning kit. What I like to do is uh, kind of grab everything and then put it put it in here or wherever you know. Timberwolf Mount looks like some nice cracks. Clear day. Found it. Oh, you know what? You know what I don't see in here? Is any rope. Hmm. Rope. Rope a dope. Time to sleep. I need to, uh, I need to cook my stuff. There's a vest there. There's that there. Got our angler book there. Okay, I don't see any rope in here. Oh, what? I don't remember there being a hole in the roof. What the deuce? Taking some charcoal, start the fire. We do have an accelerant, we'll do that. Okay, add some reclaimed wood. And one cedar, and then can put that away. Cooking slot, cook. Oh, I, ne I did the same thing again. Shoot. I never harvested it. Yeah. Harvest. I don't know why I came outside to do it. <laughs> so they could smell it. Isn't there multiple cooking slots on here? I think there is. Possibly just two? Gamey? It's gamey already? meat. I mean, you don't really want your meat to go to waste, right? It's gonna run out. Alright, that's enough of that. So let's drop our bear thingy down. I always forget to do this, right? This guy. Fresh black bear hide. And then over here, we'll just drop all of our gut. Drop all. And then in here, see, we'll put this metal in there. Arm cleaning kit. That guy. That guy. Those guys. Sewing kits for days. Spray paint. Our book. Uh. Do I really need to take all my ammo with me? I don't think so. Actually, I gotta do a better job of this. If I am going to... If I am going up there... If I'm going all the way up there... Um, I'm gonna wanna really get light really get light you know what I'm saying I'm gonna have to do a better job of that <clears throat> all right I am gonna throw out maybe there is a rope sitting around here somewhere but I don't see it right now throw out that uncooked one pretty sure that was one of the small ones I don't want to get as light as I can. Um, 
Probably, let's go ahead and eat and drink and then sleep on a full stomach. That'll be good. Drink. Yeah, I need to... Because you're going to want to bring back, like, a lot of stuff from up there, you know? Oh, I didn't... I'm not going to have that much time in nine hours. Should be enough, right? If I'm making it all the way up to the plane, which I don't know if I can. I don't know how to get... I don't remember how to get up there exactly. Where am I at on weight? 75 or 77. A lot of it is to do with this food. So what I'll do is we'll um let's see. I drop some of these guys. Drop the MRE. Right? And this is these are all 2.2 pounders. Beauty of this is I can drop that stuff. You just don't want to take stuff up there. So I need a hacksaw up there, right? I need a hacksaw. Now Revolver ammo, revolver ammo. Yeah, I think we can put some of that away, right? And then... Maybe put some of this away. Lantern, do I need my lantern? Do I need my lantern going up there? I don't know. I think there's some... I do have this. There are some places to go through. Fire and cleaning kit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to go through and see what <laughs> what I don't want to take. I got to remember how to make my way up there. See, I always used to go the way I came up that way, but I don't remember how I got up there to... Oh, there's the plane. You can see it right there. I don't remember how I got up there to lay the initial ropes. Those two sets of ropes that I need. Maybe I went the other way. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, you guys, hit the old like button for Timberwolf Mountain. See you guys next time.